Federal officials, including representatives from the CDC and FEMA, leaving Knox County just a few hours ago after visiting because of the growth in COVID-19 cases here. The federal disease response team checking Knox County as one of 14 hot spots around the country. This is according to the Knox County Health Department, who gave details during a briefing today about their meeting with the CDC, FEMA, and representatives from the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response. Those federal officials came in on Wednesday. Wednesday. Again, they left this morning. The health department saying they wanted to offer, quote, rapid support as the case count grows here in Knox County. They did come because of um, seeing the rapid growth in cases in this area, and that, that was a concern to them and wanted to offer um, uh, guidance and support and hear of our concerns and being able to elevate those directly up to the federal government. Um, when uh, when they can so and it was a very good visit we spoke with them and they met with some of our partners as well and they heard things about testing concerns and needing have to have um, uh, more dependable laboratory capacity and testing capacity and faster testing and all of those things they they heard a lot about a lot of different concerns so um, they heard about concerns from our staff and um, you know how they're um, they're handling stress and um, all of the concerns that go with um, working in this environment. It's an emergency that is lasting a long time. The health department saying we will have to see when it comes to changes that might come out of that visit and that the health department has not gotten a full report back yet. Knox County, by the way, has reported 20 consecutive days with double digit growth in cases. Here are the numbers as of today. Let's take a look. The Knox County Health Department reporting 708 active cases if we can get those on the screen that's an increase of 41 cases from yesterday there have been a total of more than 1500 cases 808 or just a little over half 52 percent have recovered the number of deaths stands at 10. now across tennessee there are more than 59,500 cases that's a jump of almost 2,000 from yesterday 723 tennesseans have died